Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have another Back to Cake Basics episode for you and I'll be sharing with you my super easy, no fail, vanilla custard recipe. Now I absolutely love this custard. It's super creamy and fragrant and you can use it for filling just about any type of dessert. Fruit tarts, cakes, cupcakes, eclairs, cream puffs, cookies, you name it, this recipe is one that you absolutely must have in your recipe collection. And I love to use a real vanilla bean in my custard. And you can make this custard with or without this bean. Just grab a knife, split it in half, and we're going to drop this into our saucepan. Into that saucepan, I'm also going to add in one and a half cups of milk and one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Grab a whisk and mix that flour in. And then it's time to cook this milk over medium heat. Let it cook for about four to five minutes. You want it to be steaming hot, but not boiling. While my milk is heating, I'm going to get started on the next part of my custard. I have three large egg yolks in my mixing bowl. I'm going to add in a third cup of white granulated sugar. And now it's time to whisk, whisk, whisk. You want to give this a vigorous whisk for about three minutes. You want the egg yolk and the sugar mixture to be thick and pale. To thicken my custard, I'll be using cornstarch starch. I'm going to add two tablespoons of water and create a little slurry that I'm going to add to my egg yolks and sugar. Pour that in. Once your milk is nice and hot, you want to fish out that vanilla bean, scrape out the seeds, drop the seeds back in the milk, and then we're going to temper the hot milk into the egg yolk mixture. Just add a little bit at a time and give it a nice vigorous whisk after each addition. Once you have the two mixtures combined, Pour that custard base back into the saucepan. Bring this custard back over to the stovetop and cook it over a medium low heat, stirring constantly with a rubber spatula along the bottom of the saucepan for about five to seven minutes until that custard thickens up nicely. And you know your custard is ready when it can hold its shape on the back of your spatula. Just take some of the spatula, grab a little spoon, run it through, and it looks perfect. Remove the custard from heat and then add in half a cup of unsalted butter. Now you can use this custard with or without the butter. I love adding the butter because it just adds nice creaminess to the custard. And I'll add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. If you're not using the vanilla bean, add two teaspoons. And then whisk that in until that butter is completely melted. And this custard is ready to go into the refrigerator to cool off. Now before you place it into the fridge, it's really important to grab some plastic wrap and drop it all the way down to the custard so that it touches the surface. Otherwise, you're gonna get this thin kind of film that forms on top. You really don't want that in your filling. And now for a bonus second recipe in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a buttercream using the custard. So I've softened one cup of unsalted butter in my mixing bowl. I'm just gonna use my hand mixer to beat the butter for a few minutes until it's smooth and creamy. Once that butter is smooth and fluffy, it's time to start adding the chilled custard. We're going to add just a few tablespoons at a time and then give it a mix for about 30 seconds after each addition. And scrape down the sides of the mixing bowl often to get all that butter incorporated. Now I do find for some weird reason that using my stand mixer will actually cause the buttercream to separate. So I do recommend using a hand mixer for this or maybe use the sand mixer on a really low setting and make sure that that butter and that custard gets incorporated after each addition. And then once you add that last little bit of custard, beat the frosting for another about 30 seconds. If you overmix, it can also separate. And now for a little piping demonstration with our custard buttercream. This is a tech out tip number 847. And this buttercream just holds its shape like a dream. And it's just so creamy and smooth. It's also not very sweet. So if you like your buttercreams on the less sweet side, this is the recipe for you. And there you have it, my easy, no fail vanilla custard filling and this bonus recipe for custard buttercream. How gorgeous is this buttercream? It holds its shape so well. 
It's going to be perfect for frosting cakes and cupcakes, and that custard filling is perfect for cakes, cupcakes, tarts, puff pastry, you name it. It's one recipe that you absolutely have to have in your baking recipe collection. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. For the full instructions and ingredients, just head down into my video description box below. You'll find a link that'll take you over to my blog. You could print this recipe off and of course share it with all your family and friends. Hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you next time.